Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's tools, tips, and talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, I received something very special in the mail that I'm very excited about and I've been waiting a long time for. Something from YouTube. Let's go down to the table and take a look. So here it is, folks. This is the silver play button for reaching 100,000 subscribers. Some 100,000 subscribers, just how far you've come. And if each of your subscribers were a light year, they could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other. That's far. It's why today we're so excited to celebrate your special YouTube journey with you. Not only have you brought a unique voice and style to the world, brought, uh, you also created valuable connections to build a community along the way. Yada, yada, yada. Let's take a look. It's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Presented to Tyrell Knifeworks for passing 100,000 subscribers. Very cool. So I figured I would spend a little time giving you my five tips on how to succeed at YouTube. Um, maybe you guys can get one of these. So my first tip is consistency. And when you start out, you know, you need to not get discouraged. You need to just be consistent. Pick a schedule. Maybe it's once a week, once every two weeks, whatever your posting schedule is and stick to it. Um, your viewers are going to want a video on a specific day and they'll get used to that. So be consistent. The second is content. Okay. Know what your channel is going to be about. If it's going to be knife making, then put out knife making videos. Don't put out a bunch of knife making videos and then do one on basket weaving. It's going to confuse your audience. So know the content that you want to be, you want to be known for and put out that content. If you're going to keep changing things in your viewers, they're just going to get confused. The next tip is use your analytics. YouTube studio, the software that YouTube gives you to manage your channel gives you tons of analytics. You should be using that to find out when people are dropping off on your videos. Was there, was there part of your video that just wasn't that interesting and maybe people started dropping off? Um, are people only watching a certain amount? Click through rate. Uh, are people seeing the thumbnails, but not clicking on them? Uh, maybe you need to change your thumbnail style, all kinds of things. You will get info out of analytics. The next is communication, both to your audience. I like to stay connected to my audience through comments. I, I answer every single comment by hand, no bots, no nothing. I write every single comment that you guys see personally. Uh, so I think that's important. I like to know what my viewers are saying. I like to answer their questions and I just like to be involved with the audience. Also communicate with other people in your space, especially knife makers, because this is an excellent community and everyone wants to help one another. Um, we invite people to the, the YouTube maker challenge is a good example. And that also gets onto my next point, but be part of your community. Talk to other makers, see what they're doing that works. Understand the content, maybe on successful channels in your niche. What are people watching? So communicate with other makers and just be part of the community. The last thing is collaboration. And if you know anything about my channel, I do all kinds of collaborations, whether it's the maker challenge that we're running right now, that I'm going to talk about in a little bit, whether it's, you know, doing collaborations with individuals, um, and I've got a couple collaborations coming up after the maker challenge that you're going to see. So get involved. It's, it goes back to communicate, get involved with makers in your space, collaborate with them. Um, we'll bring each other up is a good way to think about it. So I just want to talk about the dagger challenge for a little bit. Remember viewers can participate in the dagger challenge. Uh, I will put another link up uh, here to the, um, uh, to the video that'll give you information. It also has a link to what you need to do to be a viewer, uh, to have an entry as a viewer. So go check that video out and check out the links in the description. Another cool piece of news is the company that is you need to sub, you need to buy a mosaic pin to know that we know that you built the dagger for this challenge, 
That company is now giving away $1,000 worth of product to the best viewer knife. 500 in product to second place and 250 for third. That is an incredible prize package and there are other prizes in the works. So you guys definitely want to participate in the Dagger Challenge as viewers. Just some other things I have going on. I'm working on my um, Journeyman Smith knife number three. So this one will probably be the week after Blade. Um, you're watching this Thursday. I'm going to be in Blade, Blade, Texas this weekend. And this will be next week's build, um, uh, this knife. Uh, and it's a Bowie, uh, and it'll have this handle. So you'll get to see that. After that, I've got a bunch of other builds coming up. Journeyman Smith knife number four, which I've actually also already started, is going to be a, a chef knife, a smallish maybe a seven inch chef knife with an integral bolster. Uh, and then I haven't quite figured out what my journeyman, my final journeyman knife number five is gonna be. And then we'll get back to some Damascus builds. All right, folks, that's it for today's episode. We'll talk to you soon. Hey folks, are you enjoying the channel but looking for a way to support it? Well, here's how. Join my Patreon. Here's all the perks that you're gonna get. There's a link down in the description. I'd love for you to support the channel.